Welcome to Vibrant Living with Nusha. I'm Nusha, a former climber of the corporate ladder turned lifestyle entrepreneur. Each week, I'll bring you an inspiring message to support you in designing and creating a vibrant, fulfilling life. Thank you for joining me today. Now let's get started. Hello and welcome to Vibrant Living with Nusha. I'm Nusha, excited to be here with you today and have a special guest, Nicole Duelli. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you. Nice to be here. Yes, such a pleasure. Nicole has a very interesting background and she studied naturopathic medicine in Germany and decided to focus on homeopathic medicine. And then when she decided to move to Vancouver and open up her practice, she decided to continue with that focus in homeopathic medicine. And so I'm intrigued and curious to learn more, and I'm sure some of our viewers are not familiar with what is homeopathy. Yeah, homeopathy is this amazing natural medicine yes. that has been around for some 200 years. Oh, wow. Mm. And is actually used by over 250 million people around the world. Mm. So many people may not be f so familiar with it in mm -hmm. North America, but there are actually a lot of celebrities that mm. use homeopathy. Mm. So, for example, um, the Queen, or mm. the royal family, our Queen, she carries travel remedies with her wherever oh, she goes. Yeah. yeah, Dr. Oz and Oprah also have mm. talked about homeopathy on their shows, mm -hmm. and also high-level athletes such mm. as uh, David Beckham, Martina Navratilova, oh, wow. Usain Bolt have all used oh. homeopathy for their injuries. Wow, fascinating. Wow, well we will dive deeper into that subject, but let's take a step back and what is your philosophy for what constitutes optimum health? Yes, yeah, so I believe that the body has this amazing power to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And we see this when we get injured, when we have a cut, mm -hmm. the body can just self-heal. Mm -hmm. But uh, the state of our food supply is not how it was mm -hmm. 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, we may be missing micronutrients. Mm -hmm. So to give you an example, many women, many men also, but women especially suffer from hypothyroidism, low mm -hmm. thyroid. Yes. And so it might be that they're actually missing a micronutrient, mm -hmm. iodine. Mm -hmm. And so if they take a high quality supplement with mm -hmm. iodine in it, mm -hmm. it improves their symptoms. However, sometimes they take the supplement and yet their symptoms don't go away mm. and that's when homeopathy comes in. So homeopathy works with the body's own biochemistry mm -hmm. to kickstart that natural healing process and relieve symptoms naturally. Beautiful. So it sounds like it's these specific symptoms that people have and it addresses like a specific symptom. Exactly. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. That is fascinating. <laughs> it's such a such an amazing science. And so it's over 200 years old and it originated in in Germany, in Germany, actually. Oh, it's in, it's in Germany. Okay. Yes, yes. Right. It, it's actually based on three principles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, which which we will dive into later. Okay, wow. And so you were talking about, you know, taking good supplementation to yes. fill in the gaps of the nutrients that we're not getting, as yeah. an example, the iodine. Yes. So how does um, homeopathy differ from that? And you illustrated a little mm. bit. It sounds like they go hand in hand and they work together. Yes, absolutely, okay. yes. So you can't have one without the other. They mm. both work very complementary together. Mm. Uh, just to give you another example, yeah. I was treating a man who had recurring headaches yeah. and it was a, a real serious problem for him. He was very healthy, mm. he was physically very fit, mm -hmm. but as I learned a little bit more about his problem, I learned that he was actually suffering from um, headaches since he had an, a very humiliating experience. Mm. And as a result of this humiliating experience, the headaches began 
and he would keep thinking about it. He couldn't stop himself from mm-hmm. thinking about it, and he would get these headaches. Mm-hmm. So even though this man was actually very healthy, mm-hmm. he had these symptoms, mm-hmm. and then I was able to find a homeopathic remedy that was very specific to his symptoms, mm-hmm. and it would help. It helped him actually relieve his headaches completely with just a few doses of medicine and just in again you know working with that biochemical uniqueness that he has and choosing a remedy according to those symptoms beautiful and it is quite specific as you were sharing uh, we were talking you were sharing that these are plant-based and there are specific there could be several plants that could serve someone who has a headache but it's yes. so specific. You have it to know is. the exact symptoms of the headache. What kind of a headache is it? Exactly. And, um, wow, that's so interesting. And I love your personal story and your direct experience with yes. homeopathic medicine where you, know, you were doing all the right things. You were taking care of yourself in all the ways that we know to take care of ourselves, especially having studied uh, naturopathic medicine, you know. Yeah. And yet you had this reoccurring symptom and uh, you had this great experience with homeopathic medicine. I would love to hear more. (laughs) Thank you, yes, it was an incredible experience. I was having these recurring stomach aches. Mm -hmm. I was trying everything. I tried everything I could think of to Mm -hmm. heal these symptoms and yet nothing I did seemed to help Mm -hmm. and so I was I was actually in Europe and somebody suggested that I go and see a homeopath and I didn't know anything about homeopathy at the time and so I thought well why not give it a try so I went to see actually a medical physician who was a homeopath as well and he asked me all kinds of interesting symptoms about my stomach aches you know what makes it better what makes it worse Mm. and also a lot about me so uh, you know my sleep habits my stresses Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all about my digestion and so on and then he found a remedy specific to the symptoms that Mm -hmm. I was experiencing. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed, just, you know, he gave me these tiny little pills Mm -hmm. and I just let them dissolve on my tongue. And then at the follow-up appointment, I was a lot better. My symptoms just seemed to disappear. And I was fascinated how these tiny pills could just sort of, you know, make me healthier and, and stay healthy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and clear out that specific reoccurring symptom. Yes. That was specific to your biochemistry. Exactly, yes. Interesting. Yeah. It's interesting that doctors and pharmacists in Europe actually utilize homeopathic medicine as part of their practice very regularly. Yes. And that they see it as very viable, proven, yes. and effective method that what I love is it has no side effects. That's amazing. It is. It's one of the great things about homeopathy. Yes. So just to give you an example, in France, yes, 95% of all pharmacists actually recommend homeopathic medicines to pregnant women because it's so safe and Mm. natural. And also in in Germany, which is where I studied, Mm. a lot of um, high-level athletic doctors so yeah. in Germany soccer is a real yes. thing <laughs> a lot of soccer yeah. players there and so at this high level Bundesliga soccer in these teams yeah. the yeah. medical physicians 92% of those medical doctors oh, wow. use homeopathic remedies for the athletes when they're injured Wow. there's no doping side effects so it's extremely safe Beautiful. And you were mentioning, so it's big in Europe, it's also big in India and South America. Yes, exactly. Yes, it is. Yes, very big. In India, actually, they have homeopathic hospitals, and it's very well integrated into the medical system there as well. Wow, amazing. So North America, we're learning, we're growing. Yes, it's exciting to finally have it, it, share it, and have it come here as well. It is growing. Yes, Mm -hmm. yes. And it's beautiful to have you bring your knowledge and experience here to North America and share it with us. It's (laughs) quite beautiful. So with the spirit of learning more and understanding more, is this a safe method for kids and animals? 
Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's exceptionally safe. I used it on my kids as, as they were growing up nice. and I was so grateful to have those remedies there yeah. for home use as well as professionally. Mm -hmm. And for pets as well, it's very safe. So mm -hmm. homeopathy is really unique because mm -hmm. it's based on three principles. Mm -hmm. So the first principle is the like heals like principle which is really unusual. So let me give you an example. Okay, great. I love examples. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone has insomnia, mm. they might take a supplement like melatonin to help regulate their sleep-wake cycle. Mm, yes. And if that works, that's great. But yes. sometimes the melatonin isn't working, their mm. mind is racing, it feels like they're on caffeine. Mm. And in this case, the homeopathic remedy would be caffeia. Ooh. A remedy made from the coffee bean. Wow. Interesting. It's like, like heals like. like. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the plant. It's the properties of this plant. Yes. That support in clearing out, clearing the blockage, you could say. Yes. In, yes, in exactly. The system. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Kickstarting the body's own natural healing wow. in a way. That's amazing. Yes. So that's the first principle. Yeah of homeopathic medicine. Yes, um, and the second principle is that every remedy is tailored mm -hmm. to the unique symptoms that a person experiences. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's not according to the disease name, mm -hmm. it's according to the unique symptoms a person experiences. So to give you another example, mm -hmm. if we take arthritis, yes. which is a disease name, Yes. In homeopathy, we need to know more. Just knowing the word arthritis is not enough. We mm -hmm. need to know, does every step hurt when the person moves? Mm -hmm. Or is it more when they first get up, they're really sore, mm -hmm. but then as they get going, they limber up and they feel better. So these mm -hmm. are different remedies in homeopathy. Fascinating. I can remember helping a woman who uh, was not dealing well with the conventional medications. She mm -hmm. had arthritis and it was tra it traveled in different areas of mm -hmm. her body and I was able to help her with homeopathic remedies. Again, a totally different remedy than the first two that I was giving an example for. Yes. So it really depends on the unique symptoms that a person experiences. Right. And so this, this woman that you were serving that had arthritis and certain symptoms, yeah. she still has arthritis, yes. yet it's those symptoms that yes, are no longer that's a very irritating good point. her. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So arthritis sort of lives on in her body, yes. but the homeopathic remedies were able to help those symptoms. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's principle number two. Yes. Okay. So the third principle yes. <laughs> is the principle of the minimum dose. Okay, interesting. So this is also very unique for yes. homeopathy. So I'm going to tell you a bit of history if I may. I would love that. that. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. We love history. <laughs> Learning. So homeopathy was first discovered in 1796. Wow, yes. By a, a medical doctor, mm -hmm. who, Dr. Samuel Hahnemann. Mm -hmm who knew a lot about plants and herbs and minerals, mm -hmm. and he was trying to find a way to create um, medicines which were uh, more pure, so mm -hmm. to remove some of the impurities mm -hmm. in regular plant substances, mm -hmm. but at the same time, increase or at least improve upon the potency of the remedy. Mm, okay. So he worked with diluting certain substances and he found a way, a method of dilution, mm. which actually allowed a, a, a nanoparticles from the original sub, stu, substance yeah. to end up in the, the medicine. Mm. And so with each dilution, mm. the remedy actually got stronger mm. while a lot of the impurities were removed. So in homeopathy, it's always a minimum dose. So the stronger the dilution, dilution yes. the, str the stronger the remedy. Wow, yeah. sounds like a paradox. It is, wow. but the beauty of that is yeah. that not only are remedies effective, but they actually are quite cost effective. Mm. And they're very safe in that way. And in fact, many people don't know that 
homeopathic remedies have lots of scientific studies that have been done, hundreds mm -hmm. in fact, mm -hmm. that have been carried out over decades. Mm -hmm. And in 2011, the Swiss government actually mm -hmm. looked at all these studies that had been previously done. They put out a report mm -hmm. on alternative medicine, including homeopathy. Mm -hmm. And they concluded that homeopathy was not only effective, but cost effective because mm -hmm. it helps prevent, it's like a preventative medicine. It helps a person be stronger and healthier. And heal. And mm -hmm. because of the principle of the minimum dose, it's cost effective because you're exactly. not using a lot. Exactly. Yes, exactly. And so in Switzerland, yes. homeopathic remedies and homeopathic medicine is actually covered under, under the national healthcare system. Wow. So it's, yeah, it's very integrated there. Beautiful. It is. So powerful. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we're, yeah. It's, we we can learn and we can. Grow and expand and learn from each other and yeah yes beautiful so you brought one of your favorite remedies I did Yay. yes oh, I okay. love sharing yes. about remedies so uh, yeah I'd like to share with you one of my favorite remedies that remedy is arnica montana mm. and you can see the remedy is it has a name a Latin name but it also has a potency oh, so okay. all homeopathic remedies actually have this. Latin name and the potency behind mm -hmm. it. And they all come in these, or typically they come in the form of these tiny little pills, mm -hmm. which you then, you know, you can put on or under your tongue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, so, so this- So convenient, it easy is. to use. Yes, easy to use and they taste good. So they're great oh, for they kids. Do. Oh, yes. okay, <laughs> great. Cause I've had the experience of using Arnica, which works really well, but as a cream, like as a exactly. balm. Exactly, yes. And so we, so mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so the cream is very effective as well. The cream, so both of these are excellent for injuries. Yes. And I would use the cream when either there's a, like a bruise, mm. a, where you want the bruise to heal more quickly. Mm -hmm. Arnica is great for bruises. Mm -hmm. Or for instance, if somebody is working out, you know, three times a week and they're always sore, mm. you don't want to be using the pills all the time. No. That's when I would go with the cream. Mm. Okay. The, the pills are great when the injury is a little stronger. You need something a little stronger than a cream. Mm. And it just, it, I've, had, I've seen some amazing results actually mm. from Arnica. Mm -hmm. My daughter played soccer throughout her whole high school and it was great to be able to have the arnica on hand, you know, for those injuries. And she even suffered a mild concussion and oh, wow. it was able to help with those symptoms as well. Mm -hmm. So I can see why it's so popular with sports doctors yes. because yes. it does work very quickly and very effectively wow. often. Mm -hmm. So if someone wanted to get arnica, would they have to come visit you or is there places that... No, arnica is widely available. Okay. So especially great. in this potency, the 30C potency, Mm -hmm. You would be able to find Arnica at any health food store, mm -hmm. um, many pharmacies, especially natural health pharmacies mm -hmm. carry it, and even grocery stores in the natural health section will likely have Arnica. Beautiful. So I'm just going to explain how to take it. Okay, yeah, great, sure. So ba basically you want to take five pills mm -hmm. and put, put it on or under the tongue and let it dissolve. Mm -hmm. If, depending on how strong the injury is, you want to take it up to three times a day mm -hmm. for two or three days. Mm -hmm. Of course, with any injury, you, you know, if it's a serious injury, you want to make sure you get medical attention first. Yes. Yes. But uh, Arnica can be really great to kickstart the body's healing process, mm -hmm. help with the pain and inflammation and so on. And in homeopathy, the golden rule is always once you start to feel better, mm. you want to reduce and stop the medicine. Mm. So, okay. mm -hmm. so after three days, if you still need to keep taking it, I would still reduce it, take it three times a week or so until you feel better, then you stop. You want to allow your body's natural processes to take over and yeah. do the rest of the healing. Wow. It's so beautiful, such a beautiful science that's really empowering and allows people to heal and, and not be dependent on any kind of uh, yes, medication. Yes, or, yeah, mm -hmm. wow. So friends, if you or anyone you know has a specific symptom that is reoccurring and you're doing all the right things in terms of elevating your health or they're, ele they're doing things to elevate their health, yet this symptom keeps recurring and you're open and intrigued with homeopathic 
remedies, then I invite you to be in touch with Nicole. She has an international practice. Yes. And uh, it's, yeah, it's really beautiful. She's actually offered a, a special offer to the listeners of Vibrant Living with Nusha. And you can find the details by visiting nushabebahanian.com in the resources section. Nicole is one of our Vibrant Community Service Partners and uh, really excited to have you as part of this team in our community. And she's also part of our Vibrant Living community. <laughs> yes. yes. And do you have any last words to share with us? Well, only that I'm very passionate about educating people. Yes. And so I would love to be able to share my blog on yes. the passion, on the Vibrant, our Vibrant Living, Living community. community. Of course, yes, yes. we would love that. We would love that. Our Vibrant Living community is all about educating and empowering people. So mm -hmm. it's the perfect space for that. And we would love that. And I know that you also hold events on a regular basis. So you can look out for those events as well mentioned on her blog. Nicole, thank you so much for your time and really taking a stand for educating us here in North America about this powerful method that uh, has yet to, to grow and, and become more uh, accepted, I guess, yes, in terms of, yes. of the effects and, and what it does. So yes. it's, it's really exciting what you're creating, really a trailblazer, and thank you for that and thank for you. taking the time to be here with us today. Thank you so much, Nusha, oh. for letting me be here and share my own passion. Uh, thank it's you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> and friends, it's been a pleasure to be here with you to share, have this conversation, and please do join us on our Vibrant Living community if you have any further questions or comments or even if you have an experience with homeopathic uh, medicine or uh, any positive things that have happened for your family, do share with us wherever you see this video. And until next time, be vibrant, be bright. It's your birthright. Now, let's go out there and shine our light. Thank you for investing this time with me on the Vibrant Living with Nusha podcast. I'm so glad that you joined our conversation. If you would take two minutes to positively impact someone's life by sharing this episode, that would be wonderful. Please leave us a review by visiting iTunes. Let us know what you enjoy and what you'd like to see more of. It will support us on our journey to causing a worldwide epidemic of vibrant living. Until next time, be vibrant, be bright. It's your birthright. Now, Let's go out there and shine our light.